Hey, what's happening everyone? Pragmatic Addict here. So, if you know me, you know I love westerns. I'm also a fan of the indie scene, I'm also a fan of experimental films, and with just so many movies releasing this weekend, with this just being such a jam-packed weekend, and quite a handful out of those that I actually did want to see, finding the time and narrowing down like which films out of those if it came down to whatever, you know, money, time, which ones I would actually see out of the bunch, and also dropping reviews in between. A 30 minute film alone, but also a queer western starring Ethan Hawke, Pedro Pascal, also being certified fresh from the director of The Skin I Live In. Uh, yeah, this was a pretty easy one to see out of the bunch. <laughs> so the synopsis for this film reads, After 25 years, Silva rides a horse across the desert to visit his friend Sheriff Jake. They celebrate the meeting, but the next morning, Jake tells him that the reason for his trip is not to go down the memory lane of their friendship. Now, that premise alone, with me knowing the context of the film, again, this being a queer film, had me so interested and had me having so many questions about it, even without seeing a trailer for the film, or knowing really anything otherwise about it. And I love when a simple premise can do that, can spark so much question, spark so much theory. Why this 25 year gap? Were they friends in that time still? And obviously, what is the real reason for this man's trip? And most importantly, with this being queer-centered, what is the relationship between these two men? What's their background? What's the story? Which elevated me wanting answers to those questions that much more. I had a lot of pre-thoughts and questions upon seeing this film. So let's just talk about the short film, Strange Way of Life. So the first thing I want to know is the pacing upon this film. It's fine for a short film. The slow build of the film in its structure makes this only 30 minute short just feel like more than it actually is. Also saying that this is a film that seemingly does very little on screen. A lot of this film is just seeing Sheriff Jake's and Silva's characters on screen. Their relationship, their chemistry, and in a lot of ways this is just kind of a character study. It's also that thing, and this goes more into it being a short film, where they leave so many blanks for the viewer to fill in. It's also that thing where you are seeing more than anything Pedro Pascal and Ethan Hawke just being on screen, where they offer fine for this film just as actors, like their signatures and what we kind of expect out of them, again, like their signatures as actors. There's enough appropriate humor, there is appropriate grit and personality, and for their experiences, like as actors, for example, uh, Ethan Hawke being in films like In a Valley of Violence, you just feel like they have this in the bag. Like they just read this script and were like, yeah, let's do it. I also was not expecting how deep the relationship was actually gonna go. Like as far as the pain, the emotion, the tension. Pedro Pascal especially gives great acting toward this, whereas Ethan Hawke is basically just crushing it as his performance in Van Valley of Violence. And something I can't praise enough is how well with the pacing, all of the different emotions in the film, how well they all hit and how fast they can just move from one to another so naturally. The pain of it being a love story, the grit and tension of a western, the humor between these two's chemistry, and especially the characters that they portray. It feels like a story where both people equally have enough to say, have enough to bring, and especially as a case of two different sides of a story. And I was not prepared for how real this film felt and hit. It felt like it had something to say, it knew what it wanted to say, and it landed so humanely with saying that. This felt like a film that wanted healing and closure, and it was just simply a picture I kind of underestimated. And I was also just kind of surprised with how much of the film was actually just that. I also do think that it can hit and expand so hard and so much with that, that when it breaks and kind of cuts back to the Western tension, it can kind of not land as well. But in saying this, it also leads to a final closer that responds and blends greatly to both the hard hitting pain of it being a heartbreak love story, but also the tense Western that it is. And it, it just does great with blending to both of those genres and leaving you off on a note that honestly, I can't explain enough how I felt through and by the end of the movie. And final thoughts, by the end, I will officially say that it is still a fine short film. 
could have been a little bit longer. I wouldn't have complained, but again, this is just simply just a picture I kind of underestimated. And I'm going to give Strange Way of Life a positive review. So guys, that is going to do it for my review of Strange Way of Life. <laughs> Again, this is a 30-minute film, and it is playing in theaters. Don't think that you're just going to go and pay a ticket for, like, a 30-minute film. It did have a double feature of another short film from the director with Tilda Swinton called The Human Voice. So, a lot of places are doing a double feature with that, but for this film, honestly, as a short film even, I would have definitely just paid a ticket to see this. But yes, guys, that is going to do it for my review of this film. For those that have seen it, definitely let me know your thoughts on it in the comments below as well as my review. But with that being said, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.